affidavit by Detective Rucker with the Pine Bluff Police Department, which states that on January 12, 2015, officers were dispatched to 2103 South Beach, apartment number three, in regards to a gunshot coming from inside. Officers arrived and found the door slightly ajar. When they looked inside, they found Ms. Lakeisha Clark lying on her bed. At that time, Ms. Clark lifted her head and told the officers she was fine and there was no one else in the apartment. The two officers then left the scene, but were redispatched a few moments later to an unresponsive woman in the apartment. Upon arrival of first responders and paramedics, Ms. Clark was found dead of a single gunshot wound to her stomach. During the course of the investigation, officers learned that Mr. Rashad Williams had been inside Clark's apartment that morning. He was brought to the detective office where he was advised of his Miranda rights. Mr. Williams confessed that he was in Clark's apartment and had in his possession a 9mm Jimenez handgun in his pocket. Williams stated that he was sitting on Clark's sofa when, he came, when she came out of the bathroom. Williams said when he stood up, the gun fell out of his pocket and struck the floor. Williams said when the gun hit the floor, it went off and Clark was shot in the stomach. Williams said she fell on the bed and he got scared, so he picked the gun up and ran to apartment number 10 where his cousin lives. Williams stated he put the gun on top of the refrigerator. Williams stated he went back to Clark's apartment with his cousin, acting as if he did not know Clark had been hurt, but did call 911 when he found Clark unresponsive. The detectives went to apartment number 10 but did not locate the gun. A tenant in the apartment <coughs> stated another male took the gun and left. He made contact with that male and the gun was recovered and turned into evidence for processing. At the crime scene, a 9mm caliber spent shell casing was found in the bathroom and projectile was recovered under the victim's body. The position of the shell casing was not consistent with William sitting on the couch, suggesting that he was not on the couch as previously stated. The trajectory of the projectile is still under investigation at this time. Mr. Williams is not having prior felony history.